solving a rational inequality is similar to solving a polynomial inequality in that we do want to find the zeros and place those in a number line to find test intervals and then test to see if numbers in that interval are positive or negative. The difference is that irrational inequalities also have places where they're undefined. So we are going to have to put the zeros as well as the undefined places on our number line. So to begin, let's um, rewrite this as 3x minus 5 over x minus 3 minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. And then let's uh, find the zeros. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to have to get a common denominator. So 3x minus 5 over x minus 3 minus, I want to rewrite 1 so that it has a denominator of x minus 3. And so that means that the numerator would also have to be x minus 3. And now we have a common denominator, so we can rewrite our fraction as 3x minus 5 minus x minus a negative 3 would be plus 3 is less than or equal to 0. And combining like terms, we end up with 2x minus 2 over x minus 3 is less than or equal to 0. So we want to go back and we want to find uh, the zeros. So we can place those on the number line. And the way we find the zeros of a rational function is we look at the numerator. So we're going to take 2x minus 2 and set that equal to 0. We get 2x equals 2, and so x is 1. And then we want to find the undefined places. And the undefined values are going to be places where the denominator is equal to 0. And so that would be at x equals 3. So we're going to draw a number line. And on our number line, we're going to put our undefined places and our zeros. And so we'll divide our function up into three test intervals. So let's choose a number in each interval to see if it's positive or negative. If we choose a number smaller than zero, excuse me, sm smaller than one, say zero, f of zero would be a negative two divided by negative 3, which is equal to 2 thirds. And so that's positive. Again, I'm plugging them into this uh, simplified rational expression. Now I want a number in between 1 and 3. Let's say that I plug in 2. 2 times 2 is 4, minus 2 is 2, and 2 minus 3 is negative 1, so I get negative 2. So it's negative on that interval. And now choose a number greater than 3, say 4. We'll have uh, 8 minus 2 is 6, and 4 minus 3 is 1, so we'll end up with 6, which is positive. And so we are wanting to find the intervals where 2x minus 2 divided by x minus 3 is less than or equal to 0. And um, that's going to happen in this negative interval. Now notice, uh, 1 was a 0, so when we write our solution, we're going to include that 1 because we want places that the function is less than or equal to 0. So we're going to make a bracket 1, and then we're going to go to 3, but 3 is an undefined place, so it cannot uh, exist on the graph, so we're going to have to use a parentheses. So our answer is the interval from negative 1 to 3, and we have a bracket on the 1, and we have a parenthesis on the 3.